All right, let's give you a brief demonstration on DEX, its record case, its transport controls, and some of the extra features that are built inside this skin. As you can see from the layout of DEX, the top section is your basic dual DEX CD player, only there are a lot more features hidden inside this, and we'll get into that in just a little bit. Down below is the database slash record case section. A um, little bit different than what you're used to if you've been coming over from the VRM line. Um, first of all, there's three panes here. The left-hand side is your directory structure. The middle section would be your file listing inside that directory that you're um, selected in. And the right side would be your current wait list. Starting from the left-hand side, let's go ahead and select Drive. Here you can select your different drives. If you do have a removable um, hard disk, an external hard drive, here you can select it to browse that drive. Adding favorites is real simple. Click on Add Favorite. You can add a favorite folder. Um, while we're adding this favorite folder, I'll remind you that DEX's case is dynamic based off of Windows Explorer. So if you do add um, new folders and files, um, adding them to DEX's database is as simple as browsing to that folder just to add them. We'll click on that. Ask me if I want to add it. And it adds it. Now DEX does automatically um, collapse and expand different folders. Um, so if you do want to keep something static up there all the time, adding the favorite folder, if you notice, this will stay in the root directory now tree all, uh, all the time. Let's go ahead and select that folder. And we'll get to the case section here. Here's where you can create wait lists, find out what um, wait list or case is actually active at this point. Um, and it's reflective over in this area. So right now, if we wanted to use the waitlist part, we would select that, double-click each song that we want to throw into the waitlist. Notice how it appears over here. Now if we change cases, it disappears. That's just because we changed our waitlist. You can click on case and go back to the waitlist and notice there they are. You can also create new waitlists. Call that test. Click OK. Oh already have one in there, so let's create a new one. I'll call this test2. We'll click OK. Now if I change the case to test2, which it already did for me, when I add more songs, I'm going to go into that case. However, if I want to go back to the wait list, all I have to do is click that and notice it's a different case. The songs that you already added are in there. Now when you get to the autoplay section, you have to make sure that that case that you want the autoplay to grab from is set as autoplay folder. So by doing that, you can right click and set autoplay folder. That way, when you are in autoplay, that is the case that it will grab its next song from. Set autoplay folder. So that's basically how Dex's record case works. Um, to get songs out of the record case, just highlight and click your delete button and then they will be gone. Like so.